Eric Mwa with Mwa.com for the weekend of November 21st and November 22nd, 2015. Let's take a look at how world markets closed. Begin by taking a look at Asia. Pretty much a slightly, let's call it positive gain on some of the major markets there. Take a look at European markets close and we see that it was a slight change. Pretty much, let's call it slightly to the upside or unchanged for the day on Friday. Take a look at the Americas on Friday and we see that the Brazilian market was having a nice session before the close here, 1.5%. We see that other markets were also up nicely. Take a look at the US market with about 45 minutes before the close of Friday's session and also another unchanged, pretty much slightly up upside, but not too much of a change on the US market. Let's begin by taking a look at the Australian market. And what we see here is that after a nice week, almost four, three and a half percent gain for the week, we are coming back to test the previous break level. So somewhere around here, around the 50 is where the market is coming back to. This was the prior break point. And since that break point on the RSI here in early part of June, the market hasn't been back to that level. This was a double top resistance around the 50 level on the weekly RSI for those highs. We came and touched that level there again, which was the high, and we are coming here at the end of this week, seeing that that could also be resistance. So let's not be surprised if we see that this resistance on the RSI could actually be now where the market moves lower after a nice move this past week. On the other hand, if the market can move above this resistance since June on the weekly, any move above that red line could suggest that there is more upside left in this most recent weekly move. We can also see that as of right now, the lows on a weekly closing basis, going back to the beginning part of, let's call it about late August, the lows on a weekly closing basis have held. So we can say there's some type of an improvement here on a week to week basis market seems to be stabilizing as I said the test is whether it can move above that 50 level on the weekly RSI anything above that is good otherwise resistance would confirm that there's still some downside action take a look at the Chinese market and what we see here is again after this nice move above the 50 level on the RSI the stock went on a nice run here and what we are doing over the last couple of weeks is testing that 50 level. Anything above that could suggest a market that is con continuing to be strong. Otherwise, if this level here ends up being resistance on a week to week basis, if we see resistance here eventually and the market starts pointing down, then we can expect there to be a pullback. Right now we are trading above 50, so we have to give the benefit of the doubt to the market bulls as far as this chart is concerned. If we take a look at the daily chart and we see this in other markets, we are trading between the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average, which generally suggests that there's a little bit of a sideways action here because the market is trading between those two moving averages. It is tough to tell which way the market on a trend basis is poised to go because right now we are in, in a situation of more than likely what seems like a balance between these moving averages, suggesting that we should not be surprised if the market decides to break out or maybe show resistance around here. So it's open to, I guess, more data to see which way the market wants to decide to go now that it's trading between those two moving averages. The monthly chart, as far as the Chinese market is concerned, continues to be holding up very well. As you can see here on this monthly chart, above 50, this market tends to have a favorable move higher, just like we did here had a nice favorable move here uh, between mid last year and early part of this year and now we are holding above 50 so as long as the market is holding above 50 let's give this market the benefit of the doubt keep in mind that we held the RSI lows line going back 2012 so the monthly continues to look okay and as long as it's holding above this line of support we should give uh, this market the chance to continue adding on to more upside um, trend so support is good we have to wait for anything to to break this trend for now the trend is holding let's um, expect this market to continue being stable if not even move higher take a look at the South Korean market the Kospi and we can see here that 
we are trying the best we can here to move back above that 50 day moving average so we can say that if the market can reclaim that 50 day moving average and trade above the 50 day moving average and keep in mind that the 50 day moving average is coiling to the upside that coiling to the upside might suggest that if the market stays above the 50 that this is actually a nice stabilizing action because now we have an upward trending 50 day moving average and an upward trending 200 day moving average because those two moving averages are at least pointing higher we have to assume that if the market can reclaim back above 50 it has a chance of at least continuing with this recent bounce of november lows on the other hand if the 50 becomes resistance here if this becomes resistance then we can see that short term this is not good because it could eventually lead to the 50 day moving average now bending to the downside so really a little bit of a confusing state here uh, it seems like sideways in my opinion just because the market is trading back to its 50 day moving average which is now pointing to the upside if we take a look at the Hong Kong market, we see also it is coming back now and trading around the 50 day moving average. So we had moved above the 50, we've come back, we've held. So net net on a day to day basis, this looks okay. As long as the market can continue building here above the 50 day moving average, which is now pointing higher, there's a chance that this might actually be where the market starts grinding its way to the upside. And again, we see here another example where markets are trading between the 50 day and the 200 day moving average which generally means that this is a lot of a confusing part of our market if we take a look at the nikkei we can see a, now that it has a nice move off the lows here from september nice gain since september and we can see that the rsi is coming back to a level of potential resistance if you take the highs recently and draw a straight line let me do this connecting the previous highs like that you can see that it connects nicely with the highs going back to April, March of this year. And now this is where it's trading for the week. So somewhere around here, if this becomes resistance, then we should expect now the next swing trade to be to the downside. If this is confirmed as resistance, otherwise, if the market is to do well, then it needs to be trading above that red line. So resistance and we move lower and a move above that blue line might suggest that there is more upside left in this market there's also another layer of re resistance which is take this break point coming into august so once we broke through here which is this drop the market is coming back to test that level and so let's draw that and as you can see it's testing that level here and so if this is confirmed as resistance in the next week or so, anything showing resistance here would also be another reason as to why the market could be stalling after a nice couple of weeks. Don't forget that that is one layer of resistance and the other one is the line connecting the RSI highs. So both of them coming right there where the market closed on Friday. Any resistance below that, those two lines would suggest the next swing trade is lower. Otherwise, again, like I said, if the market is to do well, it needs to clear that those two lines. And so we either get a breakout for a move higher or resistance for a move lower in the short term. If we take a look at the Nifty, after a nice 1.2% gain for this week, it now looks like this is a nice improvement on the RSI. But I think this is not out of trouble because if you take a look at the 10 week moving average, so the 10-week moving average for right now is trading at a fresh 52-week low. So because the 10-week moving average is trading at a fresh 52-week low, this suggests that net-net we might have to record a new 52-week price low. So because the moving averages are trading at fresh 52-week lows, generally speaking, you tend to see that the price eventually is also going to have to move to fresh low. So I think even though we had a nice week to the upside, I think the risk is still to the downside on this chart. If we take a look at the monthly, we are still trading below the previous recent monthly closing low and the level there that the market needs to either show support by moving above that level is 4948.90 which is the recent monthly closing low going back to October. So we are trading below that on the monthly chart, that's not good. 
Anything below that would suggest that there's a chance for lower prices. Keep in mind, we are also very close to the 50 RSI level on the monthly. If the monthly chart moves below 50, expect a big down month whenever that happens. Take a look at the 13-year weekly. And what we see here, if you go to the lows of late 08, early 09, and the lows here, we can see that we are currently breaking that line. So for now, it looks like this is a break of that trend line. Anything below that line of support going back to 2008, 2009, anything breaking that, which is what is taking place, suggests that the risk continues to be to the downside. So because of this break, one can assume that at this rate, the risk continues to be for this market to go, continue going lower. Take a look at the daily. And on the daily chart, we are still trading below the 50-day moving average and trading below the 200-day moving average. So net net, yes, a nice gain for the week. But is this market out of trouble? I'm not sure. We take a look at the hourly and we can see that the hourly is coming back to this. Take this break point here off the highs recently. You see that corresponds with the RSI breaking down right there. And so we can draw a line from there, which should be somewhere around there. So on hour to hour basis after Friday's action, this has already confirmed resistance, suggesting that even as we begin the new week, more than likely there's going to be in my opinion, some downside pressure, unless the market can clear that resistance on the hourly chart. So for now, it looks like we close with the resistance. One should expect that the market starts pulling back based on this hourly chart. Take a look at the daily chart for the South African market, the Dow Jones South African stock market index. And also here, we see that we are trading between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average, which might suggest that net-net, this is a sideways part of the market unless it can either break out above the recent daily closing highs there or it can break down below the recent daily closing highs. It seems to me that we are stuck in this range as we trade between the 50-day the and the 200-day moving average. We take a look at the Nigerian market and we can see that we had already moved to fresh 52-week lows on the 10-week moving average and because we've already moved to fresh 52 week lows on the 10 week moving average then the fact that the price is now moving to fresh lows is not much of a surprise and also we seem to be breaking the support trend line on the weekly RSI connecting the recent lows so this RSI line is broken as of right now suggests that the risk continues to be for even lower prices and again this is the ETF that tracks the Nigerian market here in the US NGE which is showing a break here on the RSI support line and also making a fresh 52 week low which is consistent with how crude oil is trading and the risk continues to be even for lower much lower prices if you take a look at the FTSE it is coming back to test a recent RSI top lines do it like that connecting recent RSI low RSI highs so the market is coming back to test this line anything showing resistance on this level here would suggest a market that is going to pull back. So any any move back below the red, the blue line would suggest that the next swing trade is lower. Otherwise, for this market to continue trading well and move higher, it needs to clear that level of resistance. Right now, we did end the week exactly on that line. So we have to wait for the new week to see whether we get a breakout or whether we get confirmation of resistance. So that's one way to look at this coming back to that line also coming back to test the recent resistance level so if you draw the line right there you can see that the recent highs on the FTSE have come on this red line which happens to be just below the 50, 50 weekly RSI level so anything showing resistance here would indicate a market that is going to have to go lower first otherwise if the market is to change and start moving higher and add on to the gains for this past week it needs to clear that red line. So we get two levels of resistance that the market needs to clear as far as the FTSE is concerned. If we take a look at the German market on the weekly, we are coming back to test the previous break level. We can see we broke down here in March, or let's call it in May, excuse me, in May. That break is responsible for the market coming off the highs there. And so we can draw a line somewhere around there. 
and you can see that this has become resistance over the last couple of months resistance here in July for those highs and now we are coming back to test that line so we can see this is where the market is gonna have to decide if it has enough momentum to clear that red line anything above that red line would suggest that the market could continue trading higher if we take a look at the daily for the French market we can see that it's been struggling to hold that level ever since this break off the highs end of April so here since then every time it hits the red line it tends to have a short-term pullback you can see all these highs came on this level here and recently we broke back below the red line for the short-term high there and also after after Friday's action we are trading below the red line I think this daily chart suggests that on a day-to-day -day basis we've probably seen the resistance and maybe the next swing trade is gonna be lower would be my guess otherwise if we can figure out a way to trade above that red line so anything pushing the market above that red line could be indication of a market breaking out in other words to put it another way for this market to do well it needs to take out the recent daily closing high so it needs to take out the daily closing highs for November anything above that would suggest a strong market otherwise anything that is confirming the market does not have enough momentum to take out the recent daily closing highs would suggest that we've come back to a resistance level that is being shown by this RSI line so anything below the red line indicates a lower market anything showing a break above that red line and also a break above the recent daily closing highs would indicate that there's more upside momentum so I think if without knowing what the next couple of day trading sessions are going to look like I think this daily chart suggests that we've already seen a short-term resistance here which might suggest short-term the next swing trade in my opinion could be lower let's take a look at the Canadian market after making a fresh 52 week low last week we see that now it is recovering and a couple of observations is we made a fresh weekly closing low but we've made an improvement in the RSI which is good positive divergence sometimes that's all it takes for the market to eventually grind higher so this is good positive divergence you made a lower low on a weekly basis but the RSI made a higher high so that's good we also managed to move back above the previous weekly closing low and the level we were watching was 13 339 0.74 which was this recent weekly closing low so the market did finally move back above that support which is good net net and also on the monthly chart we did hold the previous monthly closing low of September so that monthly closing low has held which is good it's another sign of a market that is stabilizing and the level to watch there was 13 306.96 which is September's monthly closing low now let's keep in mind that if we do eventually move back below September's monthly closing low that's gonna be another red flag for now the market is holding very well above that so we can see that the weeklies and the monthlies are showing some life but if we go to the dailies we see that the market is coming back to test the level where it has been struggling so you can see there was a break somewhere here this break in the RSI happens to be off the highs there also happens to be around the 50 day move, 50 RSI level and if you just draw that red line there you can see that recent highs have come with the market struggling to hold above RSI level of 50 all these resistance levels have led to short-term highs in the market right here short-term highs and now after we moved below the red line the market did move lower and here we are showing resistance as of Friday's trade also we are trading below the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average so net net on the on the daily chart indication to me is that the market is too struggling and could now have the next swing trade as being to the downside take a look at the hourly and the hourly is also showing resistance because if you draw the line right there you can see that it gives you the resistance levels and the recent highs on the on the chart there was a high there and also this recent high came on this level here we are showing that we went above the red line and back below it that red line happens to be at around 61.8 so that is confirming that short term 
we might begin the week or the new week with some momentum to the downside. We take a look at the Brazilian market by way of the EWZ and we see that it is coming back to test this level here. Right there. So that red line corresponds with the break off the highs here in May of this year. Since then, that red line has become short term resistance every time the Brazilian market wants to move higher. It so happens that the red line is also again at about 61.8. So we can see that anything confirming resistance here and a move lower in the RSI would suggest prices are going to be trending lower. And anything breaking above 61.8 and higher so let's say if the market can move above the red line and move higher that would suggest that there's reason to believe the market moves higher and again we see another market that is trading between the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average so there's a lot of confusion right now in the market in my opinion based on where the prices are trading relative to their 50 and 200 day moving averages and again, just to sum this up, I think the key here is what happens short term around 61.8. Anything moving back above below 61.8 would suggest that the next move is lower. And if we clear that level, the red line, then we can have a chance of moving to the upside. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 in conclusion and we can see S&P 500 coming back to test this level here. Now this line has been critical because it gave you this break point of the highs on a weekly basis that was the high this became resistance in July which is that high and this was short-term resistance beginning of November for the high here and this move lower and so we are coming back to test that red line so to, to put it simply any any resistance on the red line and lower will suggest the next swing trade is down at the same time any move above the red line would suggest that the market continues to attack recent all-time weekly closing high. So I guess we'll see what happens, but for now I think we ended the week exactly where the market has been finding a little bit of a problem. So anything above that is bullish. Anything confirming resistance here would suggest that the market's next move is lower. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com, and I leave you here with the U.S. markets right now closing with about, let's call it two minutes to close. U.S. markets are closing the day. A little bit to the upside. We'll see how the next week is going to go. Eric Mwadid, Mwadid.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!